Eric, some new developments today in the deadly explosion that rocked Northwest Houston nearly one week ago today. This morning, lawyers filed a temporary restraining order against the city to prevent evidence from being cleared from the nearby streets. Now, to much of their surprise, the city fought that order in that hearing this morning. Channel 2's Sally Mamdu is live this morning now in Northwest Houston with more on what happened at today's hearing. Sally. And tonight, here's a little bit of a background here. Today, many of those lawyers representing families, victims, and representing the residents impacted by this, by this explosion were inside the courtroom here for this hearing because they wanted to make sure that Stefani Lane, that sits right across from that facility, remains blocked off for their investigation. They're going to send in experts to investigate that road, and they say that there's critical evidence on that road, and they want to make sure that it's preserved and nobody touches it. Well, to their surprise, the city was not on board. A temporary restraining order was granted to continue blocking a portion of Stefani Lane that sits adjacent to Watson Grinding and Manufacturing, the site of last week's explosion. Now our experts can go in, do their investigation, and figure out the cause and origin of this explosion that happened. Robert Kwok, who's representing 130 residents impacted by the devastation of the explosion and are now suing, is calling today's hearing a win after he, along with several other lawyers in the courtroom, including Mohammed Aziz, who's representing the Frank Flores family, were surprised by the city's pushback. It's ridiculous that the city won't help us or, or even help the investigation um, or, or not. We don't, we're not even asking for their help. We just need them to stay out of the way. Tried to get the city side. The other, why, why did you guys object? We cannot uh, comment at this time. During the hearing, the city told the judge the reason they opposed the order is because, quote, the city had nothing to do with this explosion and that closing the road longer could become costly and pose a safety issue. Leith Wheat, who represents Houston Corvette Services that sits on Stefani Lane and was damaged by the explosion, says the city's position just doesn't make any sense. Two families have lost their loved ones. Businesses have been totally destroyed. And for the city attorney's office to come in here and say, well, we just need to work that out later is crazy. And again, for the past couple of days here since this explosion happened, we've been trying to get someone with Watson Grinding and Manufacturing Facility, a representative on camera, to just tell us what their position are in this whole ordeal. They have declined. They've only been given a statement. In the meantime, today at this hearing, there was an attorney with Watson Grinding and Manufacturing Facility. He also declined to go on camera. We're live in downtown Houston. Sally Mabdu, KPRC, Channel 2 News.